Hi, I'm Jason Asher, resident makeup artist for Barney's New York here on our fantastic cosmetics floor with my longtime client, Rebecca Lester. And we're going to take um, Rebecca's look and give her a, a beautiful, wearable, daytime, uh, deep berry lip, taking inspiration from the ball runways and then amp it up into a really dramatic nighttime lip. I'm going to start Rebecca's makeup with 3Lab's new Aqua BB SPF 40 uh, foundation. It's a beautiful, oil-free, lightweight foundation, water-based. Feels like absolutely nothing once the moisture evaporates. I'm um, using the Evlon brush to apply it on uh, the hit points of the face, her cheeks, nose, around the nose, around the mouth, between the eyebrows. The color blends so well, I don't have to do a full face of this product to get it to disappear beautifully. I'm using Eve Lom's new Light Illusion Concealer. It's like eye serum with color. I'm applying this product um, directly from the brush onto Rebecca's under eye, um, a few small dots, and then very subtly carrying it across up to the lash line. Bobbi Brown Tinted Brow Gel, shade Mahogany. This product is a life changer for a lot of clients because you're coloring the hair, not the skin. So you never had that filled in brow look. I can create um, just more definition, more continuity, a more contiguous uh, brow, refine the shape and keep the hairs in place, all in this one product. To prep Rebecca's lids for eyeshadow, I'm using By Terry's Hyaluronic Eye Primer in shade number two. It's a really beautiful oil-free water-based primer that actually firms the skin, cancels out any red or discoloration, and looks nice by itself or really adheres to other eyeshadow to keep it in place all day. Because we're doing a very strong lip on Rebecca, I want to keep her eyes very soft and natural. So I'm using Chantecaille's uh, new Trio Palette, their 15th anniversary eyeshade palette, which is just absolutely beautiful. I'm using NARS's new brush 43 to blend the two lighter shades in this palette together, just to create a really beautiful luminous skin tone color on Rebecca's lids. I'm using Bobbi Brown's Perfectly Defined Gel Eyeliner. I'm applying this to Rebecca's lash line using very short strokes because I really want a very thin, tight line that defines her lash line but really disappears into her eyelashes once we've added mascara. To define Rebecca's lashes, I'm using Claudia Riaz's new Instant Lash Mascara, which is a really beautiful, fiber-free, very jet black product that I can used to create very soft, natural, feathery lashes that don't have a lot of chunk or a lot of build, just a lot of depth of color. You'll notice uh, as I'm applying Rebecca's mascara, I'm really getting to the base of her eyelashes and moving my hand back and forth in order to really create a very strong base of mascara. I just want a very natural, creamy cheek on Rebecca, so I'm using um, NARS Multiple Stick in Nepali Coast. It's a really beautiful sort of coppered rose. And I'm just using my fingers to gently blend the color away into the apple and up the cheekbone. We're moving on to the lip, which is really the focus of this look, and I wanted to choose something that was really more of a, a berry stain. I'm moving on to Troy Surratt's Automatique Lip Crayon, and I chose a color that I thought would be really beautiful, like crushed berries, and this color seductrice is amazing on Rebecca, as you can see. It's going on like a sheer stain. You can really control the coverage. I'm filling in the lip and using my brush just to smooth the color along and just give it like a nice, you know, bitten lip effect. So now we have Rebecca in a beautiful, clean daytime look with a soft defined eye and a beautiful soft stained berry lip. Now we're going to take the same runway inspiration and transition into a beautiful amped up evening look. The first step in transitioning this look from day into night is to bump the cheek up a little bit. I'm using Plum Attraction on Rebecca's cheek to really cut under the cheekbone a little rather than highlighting the apple, just to create a, a little more of a, a dramatic effect with the blush. Generally speaking, when I finish doing blush, I'll take whatever's left on the brush and use the residue just to pop the nose, the chin, the forehead, the temples, just to throw a little extra color into the face. Again, the most important part of this look is really focusing on the deep berry lip, the inspiration, the runway inspiration that we're, you know, we're to be taken for the fall season. And NARS brought out this beautiful collection of uh, lip colors in a very matte finish called Audacious Lip Color. And I'm choosing a color called Bet, which is a really beautiful oxblood berry that I think will really jump Rebecca's lips up to a real, really beautiful nighttime version of the soft berry that we did for daytime.
I chose NARS uh, Coordinating Lip Liner in Salsa. It's also a beautiful brown-based berry that disappears beautifully into this bet lip color. I wanted to take um, a little bit of Bobbi Brown Espresso Shadow and Claudia Riaz's uh, eyebrow brush and comb and bump Rebecca's uh, eyebrows up just a little bit because I find that a heavier eyebrow um, just balances with a really deep lip and she has dark hair. And I personally love a strong dark eyebrow. So I'm starting at the, the base of the front of the brow and going straight upward in very short strokes. I'm using the other side of this brush, the brow comb, to remove some of the excess product and to just groom the brows into the shape that I want to dictate. It's all about the lip, it's all about the eyebrows, even skin, you're done. So we've taken the runway inspiration for a berry lip, one daytime, one nighttime, one soft and wearable, um, one more dramatic and really sexy, I think.